everybody, Ghost Fox here. Today we're taking a look at a gaming keyboard that is a budget entry level model. And this is from One by One. Here is a look at the box of their gaming keyboard. And that is just the name of it. It is a gaming keyboard. It does have multimedia key function on it. So that's good. Now, this is, as I mentioned, an entry level keyboard. It's only about $20, so it's not expensive. And it also lacks a lot of the higher end features. For example, this keyboard does not feature anti-ghosting, which if you are going to be doing online gaming, competitive gaming is a feature that you might want to have. But for standard at home games, uh, you know, playing some things like Fallout, um, Skyrim, any of the newer stuff, you can tell I like Bethesda games. Uh, this is definitely going to work for you, but this is not really something that's going to be great for competitive online gaming. Here's a look at the keyboard itself, and it's it's a really nice design. I do like the design of the, their gaming keyboard. It's got a nice little uh, rest on it that is angled, so that is very comfortable for one thing. And it does have some rubber pads here for anti-skid. It doesn't have a rubber pad on the extendable leg here, however, which I usually prefer, but this keyboard is of a decent weight, so I don't feel like you should really worry about this sliding around a lot. I really don't feel like that's going to happen. One interesting thing is that this does have some of the uh, water-resistant qualities to it with these little drain holes uh, in the bottom. Not that I recommend dumping your drinks on your keyboard, but uh, this will be a little bit more resistant to things like shorting out. As I mentioned, this doesn't have any anti-ghosting, so you could potentially, if you're mashing down a bunch of keys at once, lose them. So this isn't optimal for something like uh, CSGO or League of Legends, online games like that, not really gonna be the best, but it does have nice multimedia um, accessibility keys here. You know, your home button, volume control, um, accessing your music library, stuff like that. This doesn't have nor require a disc or any special drivers to use. It is just a plug and play keyboard. Very easy to use. As you can see, it's backlit also. There are three color options. You have the blue, you have red, and you have purple or it's off. There are also uh, variations for the brightness as well. There are three brightness settings, but overall it's got a pretty nice backlight and it's got some of the major colors that a lot of people would want. This is uh, 114 keys, so it does include the, the number pad as well over here. And um, yeah, otherwise the key presses on it are pretty good actually. There's a decent amount of uh, little feedback that you get when you press the buttons down but they're also very, very quiet. This keyboard does not make a lot of sound. So very minimal. This means it's really good for kids if parents don't want to hear them pressing on their keyboard, or if you're playing in a shared space. That's also kind of convenient where you don't necessarily want a mechanical gaming keyboard that's click, 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 click all over the place. Uh, this makes a really nice option. So this is a very good, very sturdy, very stable, and it seems to be very well made gaming keyboard for a budget or entry level gaming setup. This does not have anti-ghosting or any advanced features, but uh, it's pretty good. And I would definitely recommend this for a uh, you know, budget setup or a setup for kids where water resistance and quietness might kind of be uh, something that you're looking for there. So that is a look at the one by one gaming keyboard. And I uh, hope you liked the video. So let me know, a little like, thumbs up uh, will be Great, and of course, as always, if you have any questions about the Tech Reviewed, I'm more than happy to answer them. Thanks a lot for watching.